Okay, I'm going to read the title story from the book Mother America, and it's in the voice of a young man, so you have to suspend your disbelief for a second. I come from fertile Missouri, she said, but I didn't believe her. Her car had a bumper sticker that read Powered by Jesus. I didn't believe that either. She picked me up a few miles outside of Cork City. I'd been hitching for hours with no luck. Are you mad, I said, giving a lift to a strange man after settling myself into the seat. Our Heavenly Father has already made my day, she said. He sent me to make yours. Buckle up. Oh, you're from the God Squad, I said, just my fucking luck. I looked out at the fields, all yellow and lit up like childhood, then at her. What if I'm a murderer, I said, I could jump you right now. Forbidden fruit makes plenty of jam, she said, smiling her corny, I'm in love with the Lord smile. I looked at her for longer, even though I didn't want to be looking at her. She had that mad hair that some older American women have, a bushy triangle with a fringe like the top of a broom. She grinned a lot. Is it not boring being a goody-goody? Don't you ever want to go mental and do something really bad? Such as, she said. I don't know, maybe something like kicking some annoying bastard like me in the head. Now why in heaven's name would I want to kick you? I'm a pacifist for one thing and I don't hate you, I don't hate anybody. You're trying to tell me you don't hate child molesters? Come off it. I pray for them, she said, and their victims. She smiled straight at me and I, can t I could tell there was some more nutsy Jesus wisdom on its way. We all need to pray on the days that end with a Y, she said. She put her hand on my knee and squeezed it. My ma used to do that when we drove together in her car. My bloody eyes got all teary. So she wouldn't notice, I leaned forward and examined the magic tree that swung from the rear view. This car is prayer conditioned, I read, and flicked the magic tree, its piney smell wafted around. What a load of puke. They could have at least written something interesting on it, like, take sucker, sucker, or something like that. She laughed. That's real funny. You're a smart young man. Do you know what I hate, I said, my eyes following the broken white lines down the middle of the road until I felt dizzy. Hate's a strong word, son, a strong emotion. What I really dislike is dogged positivity. It drains the life out of me. I rolled down the window, needing air. And I'm not your son, I said. So, tell me about your mom. No, I said, I won't. She swung the car onto the hard shoulder and sped along it for about 50 metres before breaking so fast that my whole body jerked forward. I nearly shot myself. What the fuck was that? I shouted. She gripped my wrist. You listen to me. I said tell me about your mom, so start talking. Start with when she died. How the... What is this? Is this some kind of piss take? I looked around me. For what? I don't know. Who the hell are you? I asked, pulling at the door handle, but it wouldn't open. Let's just say I'm your guardian angel, Sonny. She let go of my wrist. Now talk. We sat in silence, but I could see she wasn't going to move until I spoke. I sighed. I thought about trying to jump out. I looked at cars and trucks and tractors whizzing by. I rolled my fingers on the dash, glanced at her, then closed my eyes and pictured my ma. I could barely stand to visit her, I said. I glanced sideways at her and she nodded. She had that moony face, you know, the way they all look in the end. That was my ma. And she was baldy like a man. And she was bulge-eyed and so bloody tired looking. Even her eyelashes fell out. It made me feel sick to see her. The pains she had made sort of dents all over her, her face. I pointed to my forehead and cheeks, then let my hands fall. So I left. I went off and didn't tell her where I was going. I rang her after a few days and she was confused, you know, sort of bewildered. I tried to say, I love you, down the phone. It was all I wanted to say, to explain, but the words choked me. They got stuck. It took three more phone calls before I got it out and even then I whispered it. I love you, Ma, I said, but I don't even know if she heard me. She heard you, Chris. She forgives you and she loves you. You know my name, I said, stupidly. Then I started to cry. I never cry. I hadn't managed a single tear over my ma until that minute. The woman leaned over me. 
Her hair swept across my face and it smelled like hay. I half smiled and went to take her hand, but she opened my door. Out now, she said. What? I wiped at the slide of snot and tears around my mouth. Out, she said, gentler this time. I took my bag from between my legs, threw it out of her car and went to follow it. You know my name, I said, at least tell me yours. They call me Mother America, she said. Then she snapped the door shut and I watched her drive away. <laughs>